there's a def couple different coil-on plug setups you can run for the 2JZ. And this is for any type of 2JZ, not just for the GE or the GTE. Uh, you can run them from any type as long as you're willing to do the wiring. Uh, right now I run a 2JZ GE with a NAT turbo swap on it. So there's an additional wiring that has to be done because it comes with a distributor and I'm not using a distributor, I'm using a uh, um, coil on plug setup. So there's a couple different uh, options that you have out there for coil on plug setup for your 2JZ. Um, all of them, in my opinion, will provide better performance than the distributor, um, as well as better ignition timing control. So the first type I'm gonna talk about is this one down here. This is uh, the 2JZ, this goes on, comes on the 2JZ GE VVTi as well as the 2JZ GTE VVTi, the one that comes out of the Aristo. And what it does is it's a single coil. So you got the single coil right here and then uh, it does a wasted spark. So it has an extra sp uh, spark plug that runs to the other cylinder. So this coil is now firing for two cylinders. Now. This is a, a fairly decent setup. Uh, again, it'll, uh, it'll give you what you need as far as uh, performance. The problem that you'll run into is, well, number one, you have to run this igniter. So this igniter right here, because uh, there's no igniter built into any one of these. So the igniter is actually an extra component that you have to wire in, because what you'll end up doing is you'll end up wiring your, your ignition inputs into here and then from here they come out to the different coils and there's different plugs on here that uh, can be used to plug them in. You can see a plug right here. So that's what the 2JZ GE VVTi coils uh, for both GTE and GE um, coils run. Also too, what's nice about this is that it actually provides a tack out signal and uh, it provides a, uh, an IGF signal, which is basically a signal that it sends back to the ECU telling the ECU that it fired. If you're running a standalone, you don't need the IGF signal. The IGF signal is really for uh, for when you're running a stock ECU. So it wants that feedback, knowing that it's going to get the uh, it's going to get the the, sig the the signal that says, "Hey, this coil just fired." So again, wasted spark fires for two cylinders. Another problem you run into with that wasted spark and I've run into it on my car is for a while I was having problems revving past 6,000, 5 to 6,000 RPM. You really got to play with the dwell settings. I found that you've got to put the dwell around 2.3 to 2 milliseconds on these coils in order for them to uh, be able to rev it all the way to rev line without it getting that spark breakup that you're going to end up getting. It almost feels like it's a rev limiter, but it's really just spark breakup. So good setup. You're going to, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, these are actually eBay coils. They worked great. I picked up all three for about $35. And then I got the igniter off of eBay, found it for like 60 bucks. Next one, this is the 2JZ GTE uh, coil setup. So it only comes on the GTE non-VVTI version. Uh, what you'll see is there is a coil for every single cylinder, so six cylinders, six coils, but it also too still has an igniter. So the igniter has the same features as this igniter where it's got a, uh, it can actually output a tack signal, it can output an IGF signal as well. Uh, again, if you're running a standalone, you really don't need the tack signal and the IGF signal because uh, you can get those from the ECU but definitely uh, uh, good features on there to have if you're running the stock ECU in order for you to get that feedback. The one thing that's nice about these is these run the same type of plug that also work for the uh, uh, VVTi coils, the exact plug, it'll fit just right on there, exactly the same. So good setup gives you individual control over every single cylinder and uh, it's pretty compact. I've heard that people have problems with it cracking down here and cracking on the boot because it's so compact and small, but definitely a nice small setup, uh, very good to run. Uh, you can get this igniter again off of eBay. I found this, it's either for a 1JZ or a 2JZ a GTE. Um, I picked it up on eBay and it actually came with the wiring harness or the, the plug, the pigtail right there. Hold on, I'm filming a video. <laughs> Yeah.
Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, no. So you can find this igniter up on eBay for about 80 bucks for a 2JZ, 2JZ GTE, or 1JZ GTE. And that'll give you complete control over these coils so that you can fire them. You can run them with the, you know, with the stock GTE ECU if you're planning to go that route, or you can run it with a standalone as well. Last one, and this is a 1NZ coil. It's actually something that you can find on a Prius or you can find on uh, a lot of other Toyota cars. So this is actually an actual Toyota OEM coil. Uh, this is probably the coil I'm going to try to run on my car eventually. Right now I'm running the VVTi coils. Eventually I'm gonna switch over to these. Uh, what this is, as you can see, it's a little bit taller, a little bit bigger than the, the GE or, or than the, uh, the GTE coils and that's because it's got a built-in igniter. There's no additional igniter like these first two options. Uh, now, I'm just showing you guys the Toyota Denso version uh, of, a, of a coil, but if you want to, you can run the LQ9s. Um, I believe some people run like the Skyline ones or, you know, whatever. There's a whole bunch of different ones out there, but basically very similar uh, concept. Four pins, one pin for power, one pin for ground, one pin for signal. One pin, again, sends the IGF back to the ECU telling it that, hey, I've, uh, I've fired. No tack signal uh, because the tack would probably be coming from the ECU in that case. So this is uh, definitely a really good option. I've heard these coils fire really cleanly and really well. And you could build a nice little bracket, have them mounted in there. It looks really clean, really nice. Um, I plan to run these because it'll give me individual control. I have that igniter as well, four pin plug. And very simple, I don't have to have these igniters as well, which is that extra component that can easily fail. It'd just be nice to be able to go, bam, pull this coil out, go replace it, and uh, be good to go. Uh, these coils are Toyota, so you can get them directly from Toyota, and it'll basically plug right in. I picked these up online for, I wanna say, about 25, 30 bucks a piece. Uh, since it's newer technology, fairly inexpensive to grab, and then the pigtails, I end up paying another $14 a piece to get each pigtail. Uh, and then that gives me the control I need. So definitely a really good setup to run, very easy to wire. I'll pop up a wiring diagram that'll show the pins for wiring these guys up. Uh, each pin is, is set up to be you know, one or the other. You gotta be very careful with these because if you crisscross and wire the, the power to ground and ground to power, you'll burn this out and you'll have to buy a whole new coil. Uh, so there's no messing up with the wiring on this, get the wiring right but definitely puts out a nice clean signal, pops right into place, and bam, you're ready to go, ready to rock and roll. So these are the different options that you can have for the uh, 2JZ uh, GTE or GE um, engine. If you're looking to go with the coil on plug setup, again, like I said, with this coil on plug setup with the built-in igniter, there's many options, but all of them use the same concept of a four pin and a built-in igniter. Again, eliminating all these extra components here. It's just a matter of which one, which flavor you want to go with. Um, I know with these guys, since they're so tall, uh, you're not going to be able to fit them underneath the valve cover, the nice little valve cover uh, um, cover, or whatever the, uh, the coil cover. You're not going to be able to fit it under those. I know the LQ9s will fit under the cover, but then you have some issues with, I've heard some issues where it, it outputs such a strong signal that it starts interfering with other wiring. Um, but again, there's other options out there as well that I hear about as far as, like I said, the, the GTR and uh, other different type of coils. These are, um, I think there's also a version where you can actually get like the 1ZZ or 2ZZ coils as well, and those will work well as, as well. The problem with those is that there's only four because it's a four cylinder engine that's coming off of, so you gotta find a way to source an additional two. So, hope this helps. Enjoy racing, guys. Talk to you later.